photosynthesis and its relation with light reaction and carbon cycle. So, this picture is a photosynthesis. The process by which green plants and certain other organisms transform light energy into chemical energy. During photosynthesis in green plants, light energy is captured and used to convert water, carbon dioxide, and minerals into oxygen and energy, which are coming in other words, photosynthesis is the process of how plants can get their own food from light, energy, and carbon dioxide. While carbon dioxide is absorbed by the leaves, the sunlight is captured by a chemical molecule in the plants called chlorophyll or CHL. All photosynthetic organisms contain CHL. Now, let's tackle about the light reaction and carbon cycle. The light reaction in Calvin cycle is in two stages of photosynthesis. Light reaction uses sunlight to initiate the electron transfers, thereby reducing NADPH to NADPH and splitting water to give off oxygen as a byproduct. Form ATP through phosphorylation take place in the thylakoids of the chloroplast. In common cycle, sometimes refers to as the dark reaction because it does not require light energy to its process to take place. It incorporates CO2 into organic molecules through carbon fixation, uses NADPH and in ATP to produce carbohydrates from the fixed earth, carbon takes place in the stroma of chloroplast, returns ATP in organic phosphate and ATPA plus to their light reaction. Light reaction, also known as a photolysis reactions, convert energy from the sun into chemical energy in the form of NADPH and ATP. This reaction must take place in the light reaction and in chloroplast of light. Also, light reaction is a process of photosynthesis that converts energy from the sun into chemical energy in the form of NADPH and ATP. As you can see in the picture, light reaction has two stages, the body system 2 and the body system 1. The process is the product from the sun or the energy goes to the pigment molecules of body system 2 until pigment molecules come to the PC. And here, the H2O and O2 is absorbed in E680 and processed until it comes to the primary acceptor, acceptor. Through the process, it comes to PQ or plastoquinone until it undergoes to cytochrome complex to form the ATP and goes to PC, which is plastocyanine, until the process comes to the P700 of body system 1. Just like pod system 2, the pod comes out to the pigment molecules until the process comes to P700 and the energy from the pod system 2 connect with the energy or pod system 1 in P700. They give to the primary acceptor to empty or paradoxy. Then in the process, the energy comes to NADP plus reduction until NADPH to form a chemical the Calvin cycle. Calvin cycle. The sugar that is produced in the Calvin cycle is not the six carbon blocks that we are familiar with. This is the form later on. What is produced in Calvin cycle is a three carbon sugar known as G3P as glycerolite behind three phosphates. The Calvin cycle needs to spin three times to make one molecule of G3P from three molecules of CO2. Three in three pieces of Calvin cycles, the first is a carbon fixation. Carbon fixation is a process of incorporating an inorganic carbon molecule, CO2, into a carbon molecule. In this space, the CO2 molecule is attached to have a five carbon sugar molecule, named ribulose of phosphate or RUVP, aided by an enzyme named Rubisco or RUVP. Carbocytides, Rubisco is believed to be 
the most abundant protein in the chloroplast and may be fostered. The resulting product as its carbon cooper is extremely unstable and immediately splits in half. The split form two molecules of a three phosphoglycerate or three carbon. The second is reduction. A phosphate group from ATP is then attached to its three phosphoglycerate by an enzyme forming one and three phosphoglycerate. And ADPH swoops in and reduces 1,3-5-phosphoglycerate to G3P. For every 6 G3Ps produced by the goblet cycles, 5 are recycled to regenerate 3 molecules of RDP. Only 1 G3P leaves the cycle to be the factory to produce by the cell. It will take 2 molecules of G3P to make 1 molecule of blood. The ATP and NADPA plus that is formed during the carbon cycle will be transformed back to the hydrochloric membrane and will enter the light reaction here. They will be recharged with energy and become ATP and NADPH. In 3, regeneration of RDP, 5 molecules of G3P undergo a series of complex enzymatic reactions to form a 3 molecules of RDP because to sell another three molecules of AT, but also provided another set of RUPP to continue the cycle. Because it doesn't need a potent from the sun to process the whole cycle, Calvin cycle is a part of the body services that process plants and other other drops to create nutrients from the sun and carbon dioxide. The Calvin cycle is a process that plants and algae use to turn converts the food on the drops need to grow. Six cycles that happen in carbon cycles to form a sugar. The carbon cycle is a permanent steps. First is a carbon transition. Second is a reduction phase. Third is a carbohydrate formation. And fourth is the regeneration phase. The energy to fuel chemical reaction in this sugar generating process is provided by ATP and ATP. Chemical compounds which contain the energy plants have captured from sunlight. What happened to G3P after it released from the cycle? Two G3Ps can combine together to form either glucose or fructose, which are both our six carbon sugar. Glucose and fructose can be combined to form sucrose. Glucose can be connected in chains to form starch. G3Ps can also be used in lipidin proteins to cause a big carbohydrate to make one molecule of G3P the chloroplast. Three molecules of CO2, nine molecules of ATP, and six molecules of NADPH. Now, that's all for this video. Thank you for watching.